Hi everyone, this is Narmada, Assistant Professor from KSA College, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. Now we are going to see about the basic things, computer algorithms. What does it mean by computer algorithm? The word algorithm means a finite set of rules, instructions or procedure of a program. The properties of algorithm, it should terminate after a finite time because countable steps should be there. At least one output, you should produce one output. It should take zero or more input. It should be deterministic meaning, gives the same output for the same input case. Every step in the algorithm must be effective. Then next we are going to see about computer hardware. Hardware is nothing but the physical and tangible components of the computer. That is for example, input devices, output devices, secondary devices and internal components. So these are the images for the hard computer hardware. The next thing is computer software. Software is nothing but a set of programs which is designed to perform a well-defined function. A program is a sequence of instructions written to solve a particular program. There are two types of softwares, system software and application software. System software is nothing but it's a collection of program designed to operate, control and extend the processing capabilities of the computer itself. System software is generally prepared by the computer manufacturers. Uh, some examples of system softwares are operating system, compilers, interpreters, assemblers, etc. Then application software is nothing but products are designed to satisfy a particular need of a particular environment. Application softwares uh, prepared in computer lab can come under this category. Application softwares uh, for programs such as Microsoft Notepad, writing and editing simple text, uh, computer software packages, these are all comes under this application softwares. Now let me enter into the topic what is Python. Now, Python is very popular, general purpose, interpreted, interactive, object oriented and high level programming language. Python is dynamically typed and garbage collected programming languages. It was created by Guido Van Rosum during 1985 to 1990. Like Perl, Python source code is also available under GPL. Characteristics of Python, it supports functional and structured programming methods as well as OOPS concept. It can be used as a scripting language or uh, can be compiled by bytecode for building large applications. It provides a very high level dynamic data types and supports dynamic data type checking. It supports automatic garbage collections. Then what are the features of Python means it is easy to learn, it is easy to read, easy to maintain a broad standard library it, it has interactive mode that is uh, which allows interactive testing and debugging of snippets of codes it is portable so python can run on a variety of hardware platforms and has same interface on all platforms extendable you can add low level modules to the python interpreted interpreted the next databases python provides interfaces to all major commercial databases guy programs python supports all guy programs like system calls, libraries, Windows systems such as Windows MFC, Macintosh and X Windows Unix system of Unix. The next literals. Literals in Python are the values assigned to the variables or constants. The type of literals are numeric literals, string literals, boolean literals. Numeric literals are, you sub, it supports four different numerical types, int, long, f, bat. String literals are, we can easily create a string literal simply by enclosing characters in quotes. Python treats single quotes the same as double quotes. Creating strings is as simple as assigning a value to a variable. Then boolean literals nothing but always booleans means it is either true or false. So zero or ones. Then identifiers. Identifiers are used to name a variable, a function, a class, a structure, a union. So in other words, we can say identifier is created to give a unique name to an entity. It can consist of alphabets, digits and underscores and can be written in uppercase or lowercase. There is no punctuation or special symbol except the underscore in the declaration of an identifier. An identifier can start with lowercase letters, uppercase letters or an underscore. It helps to locate the name of the entity which is defined along with the keyboard. The next we are going to see about variable. What is variable? Variables are used to give a name to a memory location that holds a value. Hence, a variable is also an identifier. The names of the variables are different which cannot be keyword. 
also the value stored in a variable can be modified during the execution of the program so the difference between the identifier and the variable so uh, we, for, first we are going to see what identifier means it is used to a name a variable a function a class a structure a union whereas a variable is nothing but a, a name to the memory location which holds the value then here identifiers are created assign a name to an entity here variable is created to assign a unique name to a specific memory location so here all identifiers are not variables whereas in variables all variables names are identifiers identifier can take more number of characters whereas variables take less number of characters then python operators the types of operators are uh, arithmetic operators comparison operator assignment operators logical bitwise member wise identity operators so here the example for the operators then python data types python data types are used to define the type of a variable it defines what type of data we are going to store in a variable the data stored in memory can be many types for example a person's age is stored as numeric value and his or her her address is stored as a alpha numeric characters so python has variable built in types which we will discuss here okay so numeric it is nothing but int float and complex string it is defined as str sequence list tuple range binary bytes byte array memory view mapping dict boolean bool set set frozen set none none type the expressions in python an expression is a combination of operators and operands that is interpreted to produce some other value in many programming languages an expression is evaluated as per the precedence of its operators so that if there is more than one operator in an expression the precedent decides which operation will be performed first so these are the precedents so for parenthesis it is the first precedence for exponentiation the precedence is second that means the priority given to the expressions the next is input and output in python so input function for example for giving the value to the program so input prompt the syntax is input prompt for example the name equal to input enter your name for output function it is nothing but print of the print uh, whatever you are given in the double quotes it will get printed so hello thank you so much